what exactly is blood? Good question. And Mike is going to help answer it. Mike, are you there? I'm right here, Rory. I take it you're ready to go under microscopic scrutiny again? I'm ready. Well, in case you haven't guessed by now, Rory's a rather energetic red blood cell. His main job is to carry oxygen to the other cells of the body while carrying away a waste product called carbon dioxide. This is what red blood cells look like under the microscope. They're round and look a little like a donut without the hole in the middle. The scientific name for red blood cells is erythrocytes. Another member of Rory's blood family is the white cell or leukocyte. The function of the white cells is to defend your body against infection by germs. Actually, there are many different kinds of white cells and each of them has a very specific job to do. Here's a look at one white blood cell called a lymphocyte. It's busy fighting off invaders. White blood cells are sometimes hard to see, so we stain them with a colored dye, just so we'll be able to find them later and tell them apart under the microscope. The other members or components of Rory's blood family are called platelets. Platelets are sticky little guys that help prevent bleeding and make your blood clot when you cut yourself. Here's a great view of them under my high-powered lens. These tiny cell fragments normally look round and smooth, but when they get busy plugging up cuts and wounds, they become kind of spiky and ragged around the edges. Now all these cells are mixed together in a slightly yellowish liquid called plasma. Plasma is mostly made up of water, but also contains protein, sugar, and salt. The whole combination literally makes up your bloodstream. So blood is really a mixture of constantly circulating red cells, white cells, platelets, and plasma. On behalf of my entire blood family, thanks, Mike. I think you have a very impressive bloodline, Rory, but where do you come from to begin with? Oh, I think I can help Rory answer that. Thanks, Tyler. Well, actually, all of the blood cells in your body are produced in your bones inside the bone marrow. Bone marrow looks like a network of tiny little connected caves, similar to a honeycomb. Now, inside the bone marrow are some very special parent cells called stem cells. A stem cell is kind of a super cell that has the power to divide itself and produce a twin. This process of cell division has kind of a fancy name. It's called mitosis. Through mitosis, the stem cell can keep on creating more and more stem cells just like itself. But what is even more amazing is that the stem cell has the power to eventually turn into all the other different blood cells as well. The stem cell can actually differentiate into red cells, white cells, and platelets. Let's suppose the stem cell gets a message to differentiate and become a red cell. Well. Inside the cell is a structure called the nucleus. Now this nucleus acts very much like a computer program. It directs the cell to produce a special protein called hemoglobin. And it's this hemoglobin that makes red cells look red and gives them the ability to attract and transport oxygen. After a period of time when the red cell is full of hemoglobin, the job of the nucleus is over and it gets kicked out. Then it has kind of a little dip in its middle on both sides. Now the red cell leaves the bone marrow to join the billions of other adult red cells circulating in the bloodstream. It will do its work for 120 days. Then it will die and be removed by an organ called the spleen. I think that's so sad. You only get to live for four months. Oh, thanks for the sympathy. But the truth of the matter is that the bone marrow produces four to five billion red cells every hour to keep replenishing those of us who wear out. Really? Four to five billion? That is entirely awesome. <laughs>